Across the depths of space and at the hearts of galaxies lurk the strangest objects in the universe, black holes. Black holes have a huge mass packed into an infinitely small volume called a singularity. It's here that space and time as we know it cease to exist. A black hole's gravity is so strong that not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can escape its grasp. The point of no return is called the event horizon. Anything crossing this boundary will vanish forever. A stellar mass black hole forms when a star more massive than about 25 suns runs out of nuclear fuel and dies. The star's core collapses under its own gravity and explodes as a supernova, leaving behind a compact black hole. A black hole can form with an orbiting companion star, which then becomes a food source. The black hole sucks material from the star, which helps it to grow. Scientists are unsure how supermassive black holes form at the centre of galaxies, including the Milky Way. One theory is that they start out as stellar mass black holes and grow over time. They consume nearby stars and gas, which are plentiful at galactic centres. Another possibility is that when two relatively small black holes collide, they eventually combine to create one supermassive offspring. But colliding galaxies could also be responsible. When they interact, violent tidal forces tear the galactic disks apart. Stars, gas and dark matter then coalesce to form a single galactic disk ready to collapse into a supermassive black hole. Although black holes don't emit light, scientists know they exist by observing their interaction with nearby matter. They do this by measuring visible light, x-rays and radio waves emitted by objects like stars and gas clouds near a black hole. In this animation, a star ventures too close to a black hole. Its gravitational pull tears the star apart. Most of the star's gas is ejected and escapes, but some of it spirals inwards to form an accretion disk. This is the celestial equivalent of water spiraling down a plug hole. These disks can be superheated by the force of the black hole and emit electromagnetic radiation before they're devoured. If this radiation is detected by a telescope, it's a telltale sign of a black hole. The matter within accretion disks can sometimes be accelerated to super high speeds over the poles of a black hole. When this happens, something paradoxical occurs. Particles are thrown out into space. Exactly why this happens is not clear, but the matter flies out in the form of high speed jets. This simulation shows how background stars would look to an observer orbiting a black hole. As distant stars approach the event horizon, their light becomes distorted. They appear twice on each side of the disk as they spin around it. The light bends because the black hole's immense gravity deforms the fabric of space-time that the light travels through. Although anything that goes beyond a black hole's event horizon gets destroyed, this simulation shows what it might be like to freefall into one. At first, you would feel weightless, but as you get closer to the black hole, you would experience intense tidal forces stretching you apart. Once beyond the event horizon, the light of the entire universe appears as a bright ring before you quickly vanish forever into the singularity.